So as you uh, know, uh, our goal is to make Casper the friendliest blockchain for uh, both users and developers alike. So let's dig a little bit into the Casper suite. First of all, Casper Live, which is really the front door to the Casper ecosystem. One of the things that we're very proud of with, uh, with Casper Live is our focus on just making it intuitive and easy to use. For example, if you compare on the left side, Etherscan and how they show transactions on their homepage. On the right side, you'll see Casper Live where we just make things more uh, understandable. It's not just hashes and, and sort of meaningless information for the end user. One of the things that we launched in the last few weeks is the ability to use multi-sig via Casper Live with the built-in associated keys functionality of the Casper network. Any user can now turn their account into a multi-sig account and permit other accounts to sign transactions on their behalf. This is particularly useful for enterprise applications and uh, and basically any DAP that has uh, permissions uh, for, for more than one user uh, that controls it. One of the cool things that we've done uh, is when you log in as a user, you actually get to choose which account you uh, act on behalf of. And one of the things that we'll add in the very near future is uh, push notifications so that when you are part of a multi-sig transaction, you don't have to pass that multi-sig transaction around between the various signers. Anybody who is on that account will automatically get a push notification to their phone, to their browser, to their desktop, and tell them, hey, there's this uh, transaction waiting for your signature, click here to sign it. And this is another example of how we're making what in other environments is a very complicated functionality as easy as possible on Casper to use for uh, the Casper ecosystem. Then let's talk about Casper Wallet. So one of the things that we're very proud of is indeed that platform coverage. Casper Wallet is uh, one of the very few crypto wallets really that works on any platform. It works obviously on iOS and Android for mobile, but on the desktop, it works on any browser. Um, as you may know, in an enterprise environment, uh, users don't often get to choose which browser to use. So we thought it was important that uh, Casper Wallet works on any browser so that any enterprise can actually use it. Just a quick uh, preview of what's to come. We're about to launch a ledger integration into Casper Wallet. And we're also adding Wallet Connect functionality to Casper Wallet to further and more deeply integrate Casper with the broader crypto ecosystem. Uh, Casper Studio and Casper Market are no-code creator toolkit and commerce platform respectively. With Casper Studio, with a few clicks, you can create a new NFT collection, essentially upload some images, set some parameters like the name and the description. Um, and before you know it, you have created a uh, full-fledged NFT collection that you can start marketing by publishing it with a single click on a button. And here you see the same collection on Casper Market where users can start bidding on it, trading it, etc. And all this within a matter of minutes, uh, no code involved and just a few clicks. Any user can do it. We have some very interesting projects about to launch on Casper Markets. Uh, we are excited that uh, later in March, the Norilsk uh, incident uh, series will launch on uh, CSPR.market, which is not just an NFT collection, but it's based on a comic book series. And um, the NFT ownership has some interesting features as in you actually get to become a character in these uh, comic books. And there are some real world ownership um, implications to owning these NFTs as well. And uh, we're also excited, of course, about the Beast League launch, uh, which I know you'll hear more about in, um, in this presentation from John Weinberg of uh, Astronomica. Let's talk about the Casper development ecosystem, which comprises of Casper Click and Casper Cloud and a number of other uh, developer tools and uh, libraries and SDKs that we provide. So let's begin with uh, talking about the Web3 architecture. This is where Casper Click and Casper Cloud come in. Casper Click enables everything uh, on the user interaction side with the network, whereas Casper Cloud enables everything on the application interaction side with the network. So Casper Cloud. Casper Cloud is the enterprise grade middleware for the Casper network. Uh, it provides a number of uh, functionalities. Uh, first of, uh, it has a scalable data API that gives access to normalized and indexed blockchain data, fungible and non-fungible token activity, historical pricing data, related off-chain metadata, and much more. Uh, very excitingly, it has uh, real-time WebSocket streams that uh, let you subscribe and immediately respond to changes in entities around which your application is built. 
For example, you can granularly subscribe specifically to events emitted by your smart contracts in React whenever there is an activity. And finally, it provides access to a Casper Notes API, which is enhanced with a caching layer, which ensures uh, lower latencies uh, and more throughput. Casper Cloud is a middleware layer that sits on top of the Casper network, aimed to elevate DAP integrations by doing most of the heavy work. It observes all of the network activity, normalizes and indexes the blockchain data, and processes the activity of popular smart contract types, such as fungible token contracts and NFTs. All of this is provided via APIs that let you filter and query the data you need for your application and only that data. Then Casper Click. Casper Click solves the client-side integration challenge by providing integrations with all existing wallets in the Casper ecosystem, which not only takes the development and maintenance burden for DApp developers uh, out of the equation, but also makes sure users will have their preferred wallet supported, which results in lower bounce rates. Casper Click also has multiple fiat on-ramp integrations to make sure users can obtain tokens regardless of their geographical location. And finally, Casper Click provides a familiar Web2 single sign-on experience for new users who are not crypto native. Um, from a business perspective, Casper Click and Casper Clouds help to build and deliver products faster and with richer functionality just by using ready-to-go solutions. They uh, lower development and operating costs. Both products abstract the integration in a way that dramatically reduces the blockchain learning curve, targeting developers who have no prior experience with blockchain or Casper at all. And similarly to scale, blockchain has to be user-friendly and familiar Web2 approaches presented in Casper Click, combined with the possibilities of near immediate application response powered by Casper Cloud, aimed to provide superior user experience and as a result, higher user retention. Casper Click and Casper Cloud were created by Make and initially developed for our own CSPR product suites, uh, but they represent uh, several years uh, and probably dozens of many years of work, uh, learning and innovation, and are now used by most of the applications building in the Casper ecosystem. We also aim to educate uh, developers. We have a uh, very comprehensive documentation portal for Casper Click and Casper Cloud, and we are about to launch CSPR.Build, a self-service portal for developers where they can configure uh, their uh, Casper Cloud and Casper Click environments, uh, set up their organizations with multiple users, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It'll turn into a fully self-service uh, platform for anyone who wants to build on Casper can get started in a matter of minutes. Uh, in, at the same time, we're embarking on a developer education journey. Uh, below, you see uh, one of our first sessions where we presented Casper and the Make product suites to uh, about four or 500 developers in Turkey. And then we took uh, a few dozen of them for a four-day intensive and um, taught them how to develop applications on Casper uh, using uh, CSPR Click and, and CSPR.cloud. In addition to uh, CSPR Click and CSPR.cloud, we uh, develop and maintain uh, a number of SDKs and libraries for the developer community. This includes the official Casper SDKs for Go, Microsoft.net, and PHP, uh, in addition to dozens of other SDKs and libraries that we make available as open source through our uh, repositories on GitHub. Finally, uh, CSPR.name. For those of you who have heard of CSPR.name or .CSPR uh, domain names, you already know that this uh, represents identity for Web3. What we're revealing today is that it also represents identity for Web2. Uh, we have entered into a uh, partnership with an ICANN registry, which is in the process of applying for the .CSPR top-level domain with ICANN, meaning that going forward, you'll be able to use .CSPR domain names, for example, michael.CSPR, not just in uh, Web3, but you'll be able to use them in the legacy DNS, the Web2 system. So uh, similar to a .com or a .net, meaning I could have uh, www.michael.csbr and it'll work in any browser. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for having me. 